Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, the founder of OnlineFlyingClasses.com, and today I want to answer your questions that I got in the comments, and one of them was asking and inquiring why I don't teach the 100 in tabletop, and hello, Gaia. And I'm excited to answer this question because it's a really important one. I think a lot of people are, are misled on what tabletop actually can do and what it should be used for. It shouldn't be used for. So we're going to talk about that, if Gaia ever lets me. Um, and before I do that, if you are an OPC member, you actually can ask me questions every single day in the members only group. And if you would like me to look at you doing an exercise and provide feedback that's just for you about what you can strengthen and what you're rocking at, that's something you can do as a member on OPC. So check that out at onlinepliesclasses.com slash YouTube to do a trial offer that we have for you. So the tabletop position, I agree with why it exists. So I just want to like state that from the top because um, it, is well meaning so let's just be on the same page tabletop is when your legs are like this and there's often a lot of gym exercises and other modalities even in yoga where this position exists the problem is that this position does not ever strengthen me my body to do this it just doesn't what it does is it can take pressure off of my back so if i'm someone with back issues it can make the hundred more accessible than having my legs straight out um, or having them straight down. But, because this is another option you can do. But it, but it doesn't actually t help someone go from tabletop to straight legs. And so if I'm working with someone who has back issues, um, obviously I want to make some modifications to allow exercises to be an option for them. Here are a couple that I do. One, if they can have their legs straight out and on the ground, this is a really great place for a, a newbie and anyone who can handle this position. If they can't, and I don't have any props for them, what I'll do is I'll do a more of like a shoulder bridge position and I'll have them push their feet down and pull back so that these muscles turn on, which is what we need to support the legs distally. But ideally, I can put their legs on a bolster or a block um, let me show you what that would look like. A fitness ball, something that elevates the legs so it takes the pressure off the back, but again, allows them to have straight legs. If I'm on a reformer, I can have their legs on a foot bar, and that's going to allow their legs to be elevated, taking that pressure off of the back, and they can work the legs in a straight position. So I can squeeze my legs together here. I can wrap my outer thigh. I can even push down to get some of the hamstring muscles to turn on really allowing my body to get strong enough to one day lift the legs up to any level that feels good for me. So it doesn't have to be right here at the level of the eye, of course, is what we're working towards, but I can have someone even be here and that can really help them work their core. They can still work the inner and outer thighs. You can even do a straight up position if needed, but again, how can we get them closer and closer to an exercise? And I want to share a piece of advice that one of my favorite teachers many, many years ago gave to me. She said, modifications are like taking a loan from a bank. You want to get the best interest rate possible, right? So you 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 can get like maybe like a, uh, some of those uh, credit unions or SBA loans, like the interest rate is a few percent. It's like, heck yeah, sign me up because it's going to allow you to propel yourself forward, but also eventually pay that loan off and move on to the actual exercise, right? However, if you are in the US, you know that there's those paycheck loans, which are terrible. Once you end up with one of those, you end up having to get them over and over and over again. When I see a healthy body doing tabletop, that's how I see that modification because it's actually never going to allow them to do 100 with their legs straight without straining or using their hip flexors to do it. So I personally really like to take people through the ideal version of the exercise, which for the 100 would be here. And if they couldn't do that, how high? Or do I need to put it down or onto a bolster? What would be the least percentage of loan of modification that I could give them so that they are working their whole body? is really, really important. The last thing I'll say about tabletop is this, and it's just something to think about. It is a sitting in a chair position, which is something we all do too much. And so you're really good at sitting in a chair. Your hip flexors are already freaking tight. 
And when you put someone in that position, it's just firing these up even more and not actually giving them access to their center and definitely not teaching them how to strengthen the back of their legs, which so many people have an imbalance around. So I personally really try to find the position of the legs in the hundred and other exercises that can help people turn those muscles on so that eventually they can support the strength and weight of their legs. Thank you so much for this question. I really, really loved it. If you have other questions like this, put them in the comments below. I'll go live next Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss anything we have to offer you. Have an amazing day.